much fun making that. It was so much fun. It was freezing cold. And when we started the rain machines and everyone got soaked, the funniest thing, you guys, we're, two, we're taking a shot of the homunculi, walking toward Ed, and they're being all mean, and I'm, we're going to kill you. And they're going <laughs> And as soon as I said cut, they went, They're like they were melting. Poor homunculi. <laughs> you guys, um, before I forget, I have to tell you something very important. I, this is something else I want to tell you. Um, if any of you have done any research about me on the internet, you know that my great passion in life is Star Trek. <laughs> I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the new movie with those punk kids, and I'm not talking about. Next Gen, or Deep Space Nine, or Voyager, or blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about the original series. I love that show. And uh, I want you to know something. Uh, this fall, I'm going to be directing an episode for an online web series called Starship Farragut. So you guys need to check them out. And then, at some point very, very soon, a bunch of us have gotten together and we are starting a new series where I'll be playing Captain Kirk. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm jazzed beyond words. So if anybody ever says, have you ever cosplayed? I'm like, yes, all the time. <laughs> last week, you guys, last week, you guys, um, I was in the Phoenix Comic Con, and guess who was there? Yes. Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> Mr. Flippin' Spock himself. So the convention chairman said, uh, what do we need to do to get you to come to the convention, Vic? And I said, you know what you need to do? You need to let me introduce Leonard Nimoy at his Q&A session, like this. So imagine this only like four times this. And I walked out in full Captain Kirk uniform. Because I'm a nerd. Believe me, you are in a good place. Now, um, let's take, let me see, how are we doing? Where's, where's our, we're doing okay. We have about 10 more minutes, I think, okay? So, I know, I should start asking for longer Q&A sessions, don't you think? Yes, you should. I would love to just chat with you guys as much as possible. Come here, give me a hug. Okay, who's got a good question? Black Ranger, you got a good question? All right, lay it on me. Yeah, I was wondering if, uh, did you enjoy doing Broly during the Night Ball movies? Now there's a Broly guy right back there. You know what? I loved Broly, but Broly didn't love me. Aww. Yes, it was unrequited love, ladies and gentlemen. No. I loved Broly, but he was so hard on my voice. Oh my gosh. All of those Kakarots and power-ups and going Super Saiyan. Poor, poor lyrics. My lyrics was gone. Now, what is your question? When is that new full model album? Yes! Yeah. You know what? I heard that the Full Metal Alchemist movie is going to be released in Japan in July. Oh. Which means that I expect it will be doing it very, very soon after that. So you guys keep your eyes up. Did you see the trailer? Yes! There's a trailer online, you guys. And it looks like, it looks all steampunky and stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, Oron was one of my favorite shows to record because I fell in love with the show before we even, before the show was even licensed. Somebody gave me a disc and they said, here, you should watch some of this. And I did and I like, I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. And I just fell in love with Tomaki, which you shouldn't do if you're an actor. Don't fall in love with a role before you get cast in that role. So I was like, dying to play Tomaki. And I went into audition, and Caitlin said, okay, we know who you want to read for. Go ahead, do Tomaki. So I did my Tomaki audition, and then you know what she said? 
do you want to audition for anybody else? <laughs> I was like, no, I just want to play Zombie <laughs> So I auditioned for one of the twins, and I auditioned for Kelia, but I wanted to play Tomiki. And so when she called me and told me that I was going to get to, it's one of the happiest moments in my voice acting career. <laughs> See, you never thought I would call on you way back here, did you? Uh, how was it, uh, playing Kakashi? Like, like, how fun? I'm glad you even mentioned that. How many of you guys have been watching Kakashi? <laughs> if not, why? <laughs> that seems to be a recurring theme. Do you enjoy it? I love Kakashi. Hey, there's a cosplayer here. Where are you? Where's the Kakashi cosplayer? I saw her here, and she has her own Mananao. Her own spirit doll. It's amazing. But you know what? I love that show. I love Laura Bailey. She's amazing as Tokine. And uh, I have to tell you a funny story about Kakashi. If you have not seen it, my character has this spirit dog that floats alongside him. All right? And uh, it doesn't have any arms or legs. It's just a dog with a body that goes to a point. So we started calling it a sperm dog. Now, parents, that's a medical term. They've heard it already in biology. But I would call, I would, I would text Troy Baker, because he played Madarao, the, the dog. And I would text him and I would say, hey man, I just, uh, just doing a recording session with you, sperm dog. And like, I, I'd record lines where I would call him sperm dog instead of Madarao. And we would leave those for Troy when he came into the studio. And, he would text me, thanks a lot, sperm dog, really funny. <laughs> but I love Kakaishi, and I think it's an awesome show. Yes, sweetie? Yeah? Sorry if I...